Hi guys, it's Talia here from The Climbing Tree. Today I have a video for you about my top tips for going to the bulk store. I know that because it's Plastic Free July, a lot of people are having their first experiences going to the bulk store, which is really exciting. Um, and it can be a bit of a nervous thing. I know when I first went to the bulk store, I was like super duper nervous. And so I have just like five tips for you um, that hopefully might make it a little bit of an easier experience for you. So the first tip that I would say is if you haven't ever been to a bulk store before, then go without having expecting to do your shopping. Go, go sorry for the first time just to have a look around, to see the processes, to see some places you weigh things yourself, some places you go to the front counter and they weigh them for you um, and they just write them down and yeah. There's all different ways to doing it, so definitely go, just have a look around. Maybe you do want to just buy one thing because you don't want to walk around the store and not buy anything, but it also helps because then you'll know, oh, they sell this thing and they sell this thing here and I didn't realize that they would do that and all of that kind of stuff. So it just helps to do one visit where you're not expecting to like do your proper grocery shop or even to buy things that you need. Um, you're just going to familiarize yourself with the place and then to um, feel more comfortable the next time when you do bring your things and you're ready to do a proper shop. So my second tip would be to bring your own containers and bags. Um, I'd be making my own little produce bags but definitely you can just bring any sort of jar that you have that you've cleaned out. Um, either of these options work really well. Lots of bulk places um, do have, or they will all have something for you to put your product into if you didn't bring your own container, but it's better to not use so many paper bags all the time. Um, of course, if you do find that you've gone and you forgot the things that you needed and you did bring paper bags, you can always just bring your paper bags the next time. Um, I've definitely done that before. I just like cross out the previous number, put the new number on it, and that works fine. A lot of places will also give you a bit of a discount or have some sort of incentive. Today, when we went to the box store, we got a free gold metal straw for bringing our own containers um, to put our projects product into. So, you know, there's another advantage to bringing your own containers as opposed to using the whatever they supply paper bags, sometimes plastic bags, which kind of defeats the purpose, but whatever. Um, my third tip would be to ask for help if you're not sure. So I have never had a bad experience with the staff in any bulk store and we have quite a few around and I've been to them in all sorts of other places, even in other countries and the people have just, they're always super nice, friendly staff. So um, I would just say if you're not sure of something or particularly Sometimes getting things like honey, getting the liquid things can be like really overwhelming and even as someone who's been like shopping in bulk stores for ages, I don't always get, you know, these sort of things myself. Often I just go and find the staff member and say, oh, would you be able to help me and fill this with honey um, or whatever it is that I want? And they're always more than happy to help. So definitely ask for help if you're unsure um, or if you're not sure what the process is, yeah, just always ask for help. My number four tip is to bring more bags or jars than you think that you'll need. There are lots of interesting and different things in bulk stores that you may not have thought about. Also, it's just, unless you have like a list and you're a really like stick to the list person, you'll probably forget something and then see it and then think, oh, that's right, I did need almonds or I did need pine nuts or something like this. Um, also, because there are interesting things and because you're buying in bulk, you can actually like find that you can just try things easier. So today when we're at the bulk store, we saw that they have puffed rice like this. And because we're not buying like cereal, we've just sort of been having porridge and toast as our main breakfast items. <coughs> I thought that we would just get a really small amount of this puffed rice enough for each kid to have like for breakfast one day, just like one bowl each and that way they can try it and um, it won't be the same as rice bubbles obviously but um, it'll just be something that they can try that is 
is this going to be something that they want to have as a breakfast cereal type thing or not and it was super convenient I could just buy really exactly what I needed for them to each have a bowl for breakfast and and no more than that I didn't have to buy a big container of it and then not be sure that I was going to use it all so that's another advantage but you know I, this wasn't on my list and I ended up buying it so this is why you need to bring more bags than what you think you will need and my last tip is to make sure that um, the weights of the jars if you're bringing jars or the different containers that you bring are being taken off when you go through the checkout and that can often be a super simple process I know at my um, bulk store you know if I put this on the on the scale and there's a reader so I can see what the number on the scale is as well as one on their side so they can see and then it comes up on the screen once they've scanned it in and put it in with the price and I can see how much did that weigh how much did I pay for the weight and how much did the jar and the product actually weigh so um, it's you know it's different in different places but it's good just to be checked because not that I would expect that anybody in the bulk store or anything would be trying to rip you off or anything but you know just sometimes that could be a step that you forget and um, you know it's just you don't particularly if you are bringing like glass jars that weigh a decent amount like this weighs 315 grams um, I don't want to pay an extra 315 grams of honey that would you know could be a dollar or so I have no idea but you know what I mean we don't want to be paying for extra things if we don't have to so they are my five top tips to say them again super quickly were to on your first time go around and just explore see how it works see what the processes are um, and don't expect to like do your full shop on the first time just go to explore number two is to bring your own containers or bags some places do offer a discount if you do that or some sort of incentive number three is to ask for help if you're unsure and that includes if you're um, not confident to fill a container up you can always ask someone to do that for you Number four is to bring more jars or bags than you think because there's always lots of delicious, yummy things to entice you. And number five is to check that the weight of your containers is being removed when you're checking out. So they are my top five tips for going bulk shopping. I hope that they are useful to you. And if you like bulk shopping, leave a comment below and let me know um, what your tips are for people who are just trying it out this plastic-free July. Thanks for watching guys, see ya.